all you lovely listeners around the world on Air 1R Psychic Radio Network. My name is Linda Jarrett. I live in England, UK. I live in approximately 50 miles south of London. I'm a clairvoyant, clairsentinent meditation teacher. I'm a rainbow angel therapist, a Karuna Reiki master, Reiki master, workshop leader, and I write for two magazines, one in the USA and one in the UK. And I'm also an author. I've written a book called The Temples of Golden Light. And I am the founder and peace ambassador for all 144 temples of golden light that have been placed in the etheric of Mother Earth all around the world. Twenty of these temples are an actual fact in the etheric over the USA. So just a little bit of information about myself. My spiritual journey began when I was young, 24 years old. I became clairvoyant due to a personal loss, and this was the catalyst for great change in my life. My life was different. I realized we are not alone. We have guardian angels that walk with us, spirit earth guides that walk with us, and also family members in spirit who help us from the other side. But you do need to ask for help when needed. I've attended many spiritual courses on awakening and enlightenment, and as my practice evolved as a healer, I became aware of the rainbow angels. These are angels that specialize in healing with a vibration of color, and they offer us great gifts of balance, harmony, clarity, abundance, and inspiration. They have angel wings of many colors and are overlit by two new archangels that are new to our planet, Archangel Metazeel and his twin flame, Archangel Honoriel. And all of the rainbow angels can clear all of your energy centers all at the same time. They can clear you of all negativity. I then became aware of the powerful presence of 144 temples of golden light placed around the world for humanity's spiritual benefit, and I felt drawn to the power of the temples. The temples of golden light are a gift from Source to rebalance planet Earth with Goddess energy, raising the vibration through ascension. As etheric it temples, each temple may be visited during meditation or your sleep time. That means you focus on connecting to the temples of golden light just before you go to sleep. Because the temples can help you release any blocks in your energy system. They can help you create abundance. They can give you inspiration guidance, protection, help you to relax in your life and give you cellular renewal. And that means that you change your patterning, change your mindsets for the good. I then discovered that I could channel the ascended masters, angels, archangels and goddesses, all of the love and light. So I channeled all 144 temples. And I've now written a book that is for sale on my website, www.templeofgoldenlight.co.uk. I've also created affirmation creams that give you positive qualities. For example, the qualities of abundance, balance, inner peace, clarity, harmony, joy, self-confidence, love, empowerment, forgive, unblock and release, Tranquility, believe, manifest, to be heart-centered, to have magical days, enlightenment, and to be grounded. And these are on my website, www.templeofgoldenlight.com. I would like now to take you through a meditation. I would like you to take you through just a brief meditation to connect you to the rainbow angels that surround all of the temples of golden light. So find a quiet place to sit and be comfortable in your own sacred space. Sit somewhere you will not be disturbed and close your eyes and take in three deep breaths. 
breathing in love and breathing out gold. Imagine you're breathing in new energy and breathing out old energy. So breathe in love, breathe out gold. And one more time, breathing in love and breathing out gold. You are surrounded now by the beautiful rainbow angels. The rainbow angels surround all 144 temples of golden light. They will clear all your chakras and balance all of your chakras at the same time. So ground into Mother Earth. Imagine long, thick golden roots flying from the soles of your feet, moving all the way through the rock and soil, through the crystalline grid, and into Mother Earth's sacred cosmic crystal heart center. And now place your roots around two crystals of your choice. Could be a rose quartz crystal or a hematite crystal. And place them in an area of water deep within the planetary core and begin to feel Mother Earth's loving, subtle energy flowing up into your feet and beginning to flow all over your body, bathing and soothing your body with healing energy. Imagine now a golden light coming from source and moving through all of your higher chakras, connecting with your crown chakra just above your head. The golden light is moving through to your third eye, your throat center, your higher and lower heart centers, your solar plexus, your navel chakra, your sacral and base chakra. And now you connect with a new chakra called your earth star chakra. And this is about 12 inches of under your feet and the Gaia chakra deep, deep down into the earth. You're now fully grounded and the rainbow angels surround you. And they would like you to imagine yourself sitting on a soft, sandy beach, surrounded by palm trees looking out over the ocean. You could be on a tropical beach or a beach in the USA, a beach in Australia or Europe or wherever you want to be. Let your imagination take you somewhere peaceful. Feel the peace and the stillness of the ocean and the gentle waves lapping over the water. It is a beautiful day. The rainbow angels are clearing and cleansing all of your chakras one by one. Your chakras are energy centers held within your physical body. And the rainbow angels are clearing your auric field. Allow yourself to relax. Let go of any worries. You're feeling calm balanced, peaceful, and in harmony. And if you have a problem, ask the Rainbow Angels to help and solve your problem and give you clarity. You are now feeling very relaxed. So start to come back into your sacred space and open your eyes and smile. And now I'm ready to take callers. Pardon? Just, just, Justine in Canada. Hello. Josephine. Oh, hello. Hi, is that Josephine? <laughs> yes, it's me. Oh, welcome. Hi, I'm Linda Jarrett from England. <laughs> how, how can I help you? Um, I'm feeling a little bit of stress and stuff about, um, um, I'm being asked to to move my home because it it it's not pretty. So I have to go to court on August 29th to to decide whether or if I have to move it or not. And they want me to do some renos, and I can't really afford to do that because I'm a single parent. Um, Two boys. Um, right. You have to do some. What's that? Renos, did you say? Yeah, and it, the the like the major Renos that they really want is going to cost about seven grand. Right. Um, I don't understand what Renos is. I'm English, so um, basically you. A you, renovation, you, they, sorry. 
reservations. Okay. Okay, reservations. Like yeah, that's fine. And, yeah, it's kind of okay. Okay. Um, Sorry, my bad. Are... Sorry? I okay. apologize. That's fine. Now, what I get is, um, is there a man helping you? I see a man st close by you. There is a man that can help you with this financially. Your family member? Uh, um, no, I've asked, I've asked, pretty much asked everybody. Okay. Well, there, what I'm getting is there is a man close to you. He's going to change his mind. It must be somebody that you've already asked. He's going to change his mind. So with his backing, what will happen is when you go to court, you will win. It's somebody I feel that has quite a good job, somebody that earns quite a good income, and he will help you. It's somebody I feel already that has said no, but this person is going to change their mind. Have you asked many people around you? It's particularly men. It's men. It's a man that's going to help you, not a lady. It's a man. Yeah, like, well, most of my friends know the situation. Okay. And, like, well, yeah, so some of them are in kind of like the same boat of, you know, like, crazy stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's, it's been a real challenge and very difficult for you. And I understand that you're really young, but and life has been quite tough. But there is a man, and he's going to change his mind. He's going to have a change of heart. So it's the 29th, so that's next week. Um, yeah. This is going to happen quite suddenly, about two to three days before the court appearance. So what you need to do is, have you been praying about this situation? Have you asking for help from the other side? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, continue to ask for help. Ask for help from your guardian angel. And you have a most beautiful guardian angel that I see. I, I've been able to see cleverly guardian angels since I was very young. But you also have a few spirit guides that are helping you as well. Um, this is just, it's an experience for you in life. It's, it, this is, you're actually going to end up very wealthy in life but at the moment it's very tough and very hard but as you get older you're going to find that you're going to have your own business and you're going to be very successful and you're going to have quite a lot of money so just just kind of flow through this at the moment and everything is going to come right but two to three days before the court appearance things are going to change next week <laughs> okay is that helpful? <laughs> Try to look at it on the, on the bright side because it, it, things are going to change. Honestly, they are. Just pray to your guardian angels and everything is going to be all right. Okay. Is there something else you'd like to ask? Um, do my guides have anything they want to say to me? Oh, bless you. They, they want you to know that they walk with you every step of the way and they want you to hold your head up high and be proud. There's something within you that you need to, you need to get in touch with your inner child. There, there is some, you need to, it's very important that you hold your head up high and you walk very proudly through this. Do you feel sometimes a lack of self-worth, a, a lack of self-esteem? Do you feel sometimes low? Do you feel as everything is against you and beaten up? Well, actually, that feeling is, um, I did a, a medium group, and yes. I had some people give some negative response. Oh, okay. Well, being negative is, is not being spiritual, you know. Um, unfortunately, some people think that they are spiritual but they're psychic it doesn't mean to say that they're spiritual <laughs> on the one hand you get psychic people on the one hand you get spiritual people and and you know sometimes people get a little bit confused and a little bit mixed up so um basically maybe that was not a good experience so the best thing for you to do would be to try to do some meditation have you tried meditation yeah, like, well, I'm, um, I guess you would say a, a shaman healer. Yes. 
And so it's like, well, um, so I was, that was like a second group that I was yes. trying to, you know, like help people to connect to their loved ones. But I, yes. I think with the stress of what was going on, I, I just felt like I, I didn't do a very good job or, you know, like oh, I couldn't yeah. connect or something. Yeah. So like yeah. I was kind of bummed out. Yeah, that that's why where I got the feeling that you felt a lack of self worth, a lack of self esteem. But that's okay because confidence comes with time, you know, and with practice. And when we do this sort of thing, we do we do tend to need to be in a in a good headspace when we do it. And often we come back to it when we're older because we've got more experiences, we feel more confident. But you will you will go back to your shamanic practice. You will do. Um, it's not quite yet. What I get is in about five years, you will go back to your shamanic practice. You'll be a shaman, and you'll be a very, very successful shaman. And there will be a connection between you and New York as well, with your work as a shaman. Okay? Okay. It's all positive. They think we have another another caller coming in now. Thank okay, you thank very you very much. much. I hope I've helped love you. Love thank you. you. And you, my darling. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Uh, hello, Christina. Yes. Hi, Christina. Yes. Ah, oh, how can I help you? I'm Linda from England, UK. So, is there a, have you a question for me? Was there anything I can help you with? I'm just trying to see if I can connect with somebody. Okay. Um, right. Is that a man? Yes. Do, do you have an idea of who? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm feeling and sensing a man, um, someone who passed. It seems to have passed quite quickly. I'm not getting their name. Um, do you, can you give me their name just to make it a bit stronger? Um, Stephen. Stephen. Okay. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, I'm feeling that he went quite quickly. Um, you loved him, didn't you? Yeah. There's a lot there's there's a lot of there's a lot of love between you and him. There's a very strong love bond. He's very sorry to have gone so soon. Um I don't think that you knew him for that long. Did you know him for quite a while? Or Yes. Yes. He he he's so sorry that he's gone. He is with you, actually, at times, or quite a lot of time, he is with you. He wants to tell you how much he loves you, and also to remember the rose. There's something about a rose, some ro flower, the flower, a rose, and roses, and he wants you to remember the rose and roses. And also, do you wear a piece of jewellery from him? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he wants you to hold that tightly and never let go of the jewellery. He wants you to wear it all the time. Because all the time you wear the jewellery that he gave you will give you such a strong connection to him. He's helping you and loving you from the spirit world, but he can't do any more than walk with you as much as he can and help you. He does want you to make your own life here. Okay. Okay, he wants you. He wants you to get on with life here. Are you thinking about changing your job? No. Okay. Well, for some reason, he wants you to think about changing your job, to, to gaining another um, certificate, another qualification. I'm not sure what you do, but he'd like you to look into studying. Okay. Have you ever Have you ever thought of that? Of studying no. and getting an, another exam. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm, sorry. Well, that, that's what he wants you to do. If you can look in for studying and qualify in an area similar to what you do now, he said okay. this, would, this would help you. I don't know what you do at the moment. What do you do at the moment for work? I just work at... Um the distribution center. Okay, all right. But is there something else that you'd like to do? 
because I'm feeling that sometimes there is something else that you think you would quite like to do. You can manifest, you see, you can manifest and create what you want in life. So, so the sky's the limit, you know, you don't have to put up with what you've got at the moment. My feeling is he wants you to, to move on and do another job and get qualified and, and then you'll be able to earn more money because money seems to be an issue with you at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I know it is with, <laughs> with a lot of people, but what I get with you is it is predominant at the moment and it seems to be an issue. So what is Stephen is saying is if you can study, bless you, then you will be able to get an exam and therefore you'll be able to do a different job. I'm feeling that you're going to do all this between the next one or two years. You are going to study, you're going to do something that isn't in your head at the moment, but it will be. Okay. Because there is part of you that's quite ambitious. Yeah, when I let it out. <laughs> Sorry? I I said, yeah, when I let it out. <laughs> I know, I do get, you know, there is a strong determination within you and a strong focus. And you, and you are ambitious. It's just that life has taken over and you've had a lot of knocks. And when this happens, people just start to lose their focus, a bit of enthusiasm, you know, they, they, they feel been sort of beaten up mentally. But I think you will get that back and you will be able to focus and be determined and enthusiastic. I think life will um, have a sparkle, you know, you'll be able to smile and feel the sunshine again, as they say. Did Stephen recently pass? Yeah, today is actually a month. Sorry, a, a month, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, bless him. Yeah, he felt as if he'd just recently passed. He's he's still he's still finding his feet in the spirit world. You know, it's one thing being here in a physical body, but it's another thing being over there in spirit. And he's still he has he hasn't completely transitioned over to the other side. He is still on the earth. He's still he feels guilty that he's gone. So he he is around to help you and around to help his friends and around to help family members. He's okay. not he's not fully ready, you know, to go over to the heavenly planes. There there is some stuff here, some business that he would like to do, that he would like to complete and finish before he moves on. Did he go quite quickly? Um yeah, kind of. We, we weren't expecting to go that quick, yeah. Yeah, because I feel in the end it was quite quick and he didn't expect to go when he did. But he was kind of living in hope that he would be here longer. Because I feel as if there's some unfinished business there was something that he wanted to do that he didn't have time to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's he, that's, that's why I think he's here because of the something that he wanted to do that he didn't do, so the unfinished business. So basically, he just wants to say how much he loves you. And he's so sorry that he had to go, but he just had to go when he went. But you will find happiness again. You will be happy. How old are you now, my darling? Forty. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there is somebody coming somebody else coming but not quite yet not quite yet i have to go down the line another mm, two or three years and you will find okay. a lot of happiness all right okay. but you've got to get do you know if he's what's... saying do you know if he's saying anything about his brother his brother um let me just hold on a sec his brother will be okay. His brother seems to have a problem at the moment. But he's saying that his brother will be okay. But his brother his brother seems to work too much. He says his brother needs to rest. His brother needs a rest. His brother's doing yes. too much. Would you agree with that? Yes. His, his brother is doing too much. And he, he seems to be worried and concerned about his brother because he is doing too much. He wants his brother to rest. Really, his okay. brother needs a good holiday, to be honest, but he doesn't think his brother's going to take a good holiday. But he says, really, his brother does need time out. He needs a vacation, 
that we call you call them we say holidays you say vacation don't you he, <laughs> he's, he, 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 sorry it's my english um he yes. needs he needs a vacation okay he needs time out um did his brother go fishing i've seen someone fishing here now did he like fishing um, his brother sometimes yeah because they were sure. together okay they did it together yeah because i'm shown i'm shown some a man fishing he says his brother needs to go fishing and when he's fishing he will become peaceful and he will be able to to see um with clarity he's going to if he can go fishing then he can get some peace and he'll be able to think because with his brother what i get is there's a lot going on around him and he doesn't really get much time to think no okay is that all right okay okay yeah. i hope i've been helpful so thank you everyone for listening on a1r psychic radio network it's been a lovely pleasure listening to callers helping callers and i'm hoping to be with you again next week at the same time same place so bye for now from lynch jarrett and the temples of golden light